We're here with Loveland head varsity football coach, Coach Cranford. Coach, congratulations on tonight's victory. Now, one of the things I noticed, Anderson, one of the toughest offenses, one of the best quarterbacks Loveland will face this year. Why was the Tiger defense so successful in stopping them? What was the preparation, and why? what was the key to their success tonight? I think it's really been, again, like I've said, being really consistent, um, not changing anything up, just coming after them. And uh, we gave up some big plays, but you've got to give tons of credit to Anderson for coming out, playing uh, playing a tough game, you know, came out of the gates uh, well prepared and ready. Uh, it's good for us to be under pressure a little bit at this point in the season. So I think we're going to be able to take a lot from the situations we we're in tonight and hopefully improve on those so we're well ready for them moving forward. Coach, I noticed a move um, putting Nate Slagle, Luke Waddell into a receiving uh, more of a receiving role tonight. Can you tell me why that worked against Anderson and why that started tonight in this game? Uh, I think there's always a few things you kind of keep in your back pocket in terms of what they're doing from uh, their scheme perspective. And we just felt that we could exploit uh, an area, if you will. And, you know, we just kept coming after them. We, know we didn't change and we didn't do much uh, else different. Uh, we kept our base run game, and we just had to keep grinding, keep grinding. You didn't see the, a lot of the big plays, as you saw over the last few weeks. So, I mean, this is, you know, we held on to the ball uh, a little bit longer, and, you know, we just grinded it out. So I was proud of us offensively, but defensively, you know, bend, don't break. We, uh, you know, it's, I guess my hat is off to Anderson. They really came out and made things tough for us, so we finished strong. All right, now you talked a little bit about surprises. I'm sure Tiger fans can expect a few surprises next week against Witten Woods, arguably the toughest game of the regular season for the Loveland Tigers this year. Why do Tiger fans need to go out and support next week? Why should Tiger fans be there? Well, it's just going to be an incredible high school football game in southwest Ohio. If you can find another one bigger, I'd like to know. Uh, but we're going to have to have a great week of preparation. They are a, a great football team, but you know I believe we've got a great football team here. So, um, you know, we've got to go out and do little things, keep things simple and execute, which we didn't do uh, you know, a time or two here tonight, but we'll be ready and our kids will be well prepared. You know, it's, it is going to be a, a dog fight, uh, so I think our kids will, you know, they're excited for that opportunity and challenge, so there's no doubt, you know, if you've got nothing going on, it, when, you know, over at their place, Winton Woods, it's going to be a, a great, great game. Coach, congratulations on the victory tonight. Good luck next Thanks. week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ricky Mulvey at Anderson High School for Loveland Magazine TV.